Hi guys, Brandon Pert, the Machiavellian Mystery here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this is a story told video, so you know we've got the spoken word, which is where I speak poetry, the word spoken, which is where I speak on something um, of interest to me, and this are the stories told, and the stories told are basically a story time. Um, so yeah, this is one about how I got to perform at the Barbican Centre. <laughs> I'm super super proud about it um, I'm still in shock that it actually happened and this is basically the story of how exactly this came to be um, so it starts two ish weeks ago I believe um, so my friend um, shout out Manash and man the ugliest gang um, so he is one of uh, one of the people I went to sixth form with close friend of mine and he forwarded um, a snap story to me. Now, this was Stormzy snap story where he was announcing um, that there was a call out for uh, the Murky Books performance. Um, so if you don't know, Stormzy has a book out now um, about the Murky story. This is basically the story of himself and his team and how they've got to where they're going now. I haven't read the book yet. It's definitely one that I'm going to pick up. But please, 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 everyone support the movement. I'm going to leave like a link to um, Amazon or something down below. Um, but from what I've heard of it, it's so good. And the Murky Books platform is a platform for young writers, not just um, of Storm for Stormzy. And there's actually two individuals who have already written a book. I'll also leave, I think the book, their book is going to be published next year in summer. It should be uh, Chelsea and Ore. And so um, I'm going to leave the links on Amazon, whatever there, so you can pre-order the book and everything. The concept and idea is something that I will go over another time, probably later on in this video. Um, but yeah, support, support, support. Um, yeah, so he sent me this thing and he was like, oh, Brendan, definitely do this. And I'm thinking to myself, I mean, what are the chances I actually win? Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like, a lot of uh, creatives, a lot of creatives doubt uh, how good they actually are. This is like from other people who either uh, write or who sing or dance and you talk to them about their craft and they will, most of the people that I know, because uh, they are quite humbled individuals, will tell you that they're not as good, but they are absolutely amazing. And you're thinking to yourself, how do you not see how amazing you are? And I feel like um, I, I do that as well. I sort of take myself for granted i take myself for a mug so i don't think i'm as good as i am but i'm slowly you know getting out of that habit coming into myself and you know whatnot so um after some convincing from one of my best friends in like the world naomi um i got down to it i i this was around two three in the morning um i couldn't sleep so i just started writing this poem and um i was thinking to myself the the title or the theme is meant to be now hear this and i'm thinking what what am i meant to write um but i remember one day that i was working in summer i was making coffees and this sentence just came to me um sighing an action taken to release the build of pressure and finding one's chest yet mine are still clogged full of the weight of choices i've had to make and i was like okay let's start there so i took something that i've written a while ago and i brought it in and i was like okay cool let's do this right cool so Start uh, started um, typing on my phone because a lot of my poetry and stuff is on my phone, easy, ac easily accessible, and I've got like a notebook as well. So anything and everything that is close to me at the time that I can write down, I do write down um, because you know, Lady Muse is is yeah, it's so random, it's so random where you can get your inspiration from. Um, so yeah, so I did this um, poem and I was like, okay, cool, is it good enough? So I sent it to one of my friends, Tanya, and Tanya is one of those people who she she writes poetry as well. Um, she's an amazing poet, even if she doesn't necessarily see herself, but she's an amazing poet. And so I am I ask her for advice on like my poetry and stuff a lot of the time. So I didn't tell her what it was about. Um, but I was just like, yo, could you read this poem? Um, it's for something, there's a deadline, but I would like, because the, the deadline was literally the next day. Yeah, it was 11 p.m. on a Monday. And I was trying to do all of this on, I think, Sunday morning. Yeah, yeah, that was it. And so... I was like, I need to, I need to make sure that this is right. And this is Sunday evening now because I've already written it. I'm trying to refine all the words and everything. And I'm like, I need you to do da 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 da. And she looked through it and she helped me out, placed some words, um, more emphasis on some of the um, uh, metaphors and similes and stuff that I used. 
and so I got it down and I was like, okay, cool, this is what I'm gonna do, yes, I was excited. And then um, I was like, okay, cool, so now I have to video it because it was a video that needed to be submitted um, so that they could see, I guess, the delivery of the poem or whatever. Um, and so I, I had lectures on Monday because this is Sunday evening, I still had work to do. So I was like, okay, cool, I'll do it tomorrow and then da 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 da. And so I had written down, um, no. Yeah, so I'd written down um, what it is I wanted to do. It's still literally up there. Um, and I went back to work. I was like, okay, cool. So I've got lectures and stuff tomorrow. So I need to make sure that I actually, you know, focus on that because I, that's why I'm at uni. Um, and so, yeah, so I did this, got it done. Um, next day, I woke up kind of late and I had to um, I had to rush, went to all my lectures and everything. So now I'm worrying last minute. Oh, I need to make this video. I need to make this video. Made the video, no lie, at least a hundred times because it was like I would I don't like reading off of stuff when I'm doing a poem uh, I feel like it disrupts the flow and um, it's yeah I don't I don't like it I like reading knowing my poem so I was going over it reading 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 like yeah I've got this da, 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 da. you know um, finally did it and it was like 30 to 11 right and I was like geez like I, it was so close. It was so close to not making the deadline, but I made the deadline and I thought to myself, you know what, even if I don't get this, I am so, so happy. I'm so proud of myself for actually, you know, making the effort for writing this poem, for submitting, because a lot of people that know me know that I can be quite kind of preemptive with things that involve my work. So for instance, this YouTube channel in the making, I made it last year. Um, happy birthday to us, by the way, but it's passed, but happy birthday to us. Um, <laughs> and um, I made this channel a year ago and um, it took two-ish years of being, of procrastinating or thinking through, do I want to do this? Should I do this? Who's going to watch? Are they going to watch? Is my poetry good enough? Deliberating over whether I should create this thing that I really knew I wanted to do. So I was so proud of myself for like taking as much time as I took to make this channel. Um, I mean, to make this poem, sorry. So yeah, so made the poem. I was like, yeah, even if I don't get it, da, 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 da. And I went on and it said, oh, any responses as to whether you did or didn't get it will get to you on the 30th, October 30th. Yes, it was October 30th. And I was like, okay, cool, cool. So I'll just wait till October 30th. And I went home for um, that week because it was reading week. So I went home and it was the same week as my aunt's birthday. So I wanted to spend her birthday with her or at least as, as much time with her before her birthday. Um, and it was the 30th and I was cleaning the kitchen, right? So, you know, did my thing, sweeping and whatever, you know, being being all clean and stuff, you know, cleaning dishes and whatever. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm. I was just cleaning and stuff, and um, uh, I get an email on the thirty first. No, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, on the thirtieth, I didn't get an email, so I was just thinking, oh, okay, so maybe like they, I wasn't shortlisted and I didn't get it, which is why I haven't got the email. No, like it's fine, you know. I I was checking my emails all day on the thirtieth. I was like, oh, it's not here, oh, it's not here, oh, it's not here, and then on the thirty first. I was in the kitchen cleaning, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Resume from where I stopped. Pop, pop. Um, and um, I get this email. And hold up, I'm gonna pull the email up because I feel as if the the excitement I had was so it was so like cool. So I was in the kitchen and I was. I multitask a lot, especially when I'm cleaning. So I was watching anime at the same time because you know that's that's a normal thing that people do. Um, and so. I got I got this email, so I looked up, went to the email, and it goes, uh, Dear Brandon, we are delighted to let you know that you and your poem, Now Hear This, Brandon Poet, The Machiavellian Mystery, has been selected by Stormzy and Hashtag Murky Books as the winning piece for the call-out. Huge congratulations. I didn't read all of that, and I was like, wait, 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 I won? Like, I got it? Like, oh. this was, I was so excited. And the first thing I did, I called Naomi, and I was like, nay, hey, I got it. And she was just like, I told you you would, I told you you would. And I'm thinking to myself, I mean, I know you told me I would, but I didn't think I would. But at this point, I'm still thinking I actually got it. And I'm thinking I went on a two month hiatus on this channel. Um, I apologize for that still. Um, and it was unannounced and it was because I had stuff that was going on. I needed, you know, space, da, 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 da. And I went on a two month hiatus. I've gone through points where I've had the most severe and disgusting writer's block and nothing has been coming through. Just for me to come now and try for this thing and like get it. I was in absolute shock. I was stunned, okay? 
I ran upstairs to my brother's bedroom and I was like, Benjamin, 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 you're not going to believe this. And I told him all about it. And then I told my uncle, I told my aunt, you know, and I told, um, so everyone that was in the house at the time, I told my little cousin and he's what, what three years old. All right. And I told my little cousin, I was like, I got it. He has no idea what I'm talking about, but he was just like, yay. And I'm just like, yes. So, um, yeah, got through all of that and I kept it quiet. So I told uh, my aunt, my uncle, my brother, Naomi, because she convinced me to do it. I told, um, my mom, my mom, my mom. I didn't tell Monash, even though he's the person that sent it to me. I told um, my mum and my sister, and I told my best friends in my best friend in Sierra Leone, Nassif. He's like a brother to me, and I told my best friend in America, Quainwa. She's like my little sister. So these are like all the people I told basically, um, and they're the first people to know. And I was just like, "Yo, this happened!" And they were all so excited and everything. I was just like, "I can't believe I've actually got it." You know, I was just like, like, I mean, I, I think I love my poetry and I put a lot into my craft and I absolutely, like, I, I was just like, what? 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 So, um, yeah, so this all happened and I was just like, damn, you know, I was in such shock. Came back to Portsmouth and I vaguely told my friends here, but that was just because there was an ACS meeting that was on the same day as the Barbican thing and I was trying to explain to them why I, wouldn't, why I wasn't going to go. So I was kind of vague about it. I was like, oh yeah, um, I'm performing because I won this thing. Um, it's hosted by da 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 da. But, you know, it is, I was like, it's not really like a big deal. They were like, okay, cool, cool, cool. But I don't think that they understood how important it was, which is what I was trying to make sure of because I didn't want many people knowing. And part of the reason why is because I have this theory, right? Things don't necessarily exist until they happen at times and so it's a thing of i was so ready for um for them to like email me back and be like oh sorry uh wrong brandon or something you know i was just so ready um to to have this taken away and so i didn't want to tell loads of people um and then for something to happen and then like i didn't get it if that makes any sense um anyway so a lot of email correspondences later um, I get my tickets and everything uh, and I go to London and I took Naomi with me. I say took Naomi with me. She like went with me. Um, and part of the reason why is because like she was like the person that pushed me to do it the most. And she's like one of the people I'm closest to. Um, and yeah, so she's, yeah. So I was just like, okay, cool, 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 cool. I was just like, cool, 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 cool. I was like so nervous, so nervous about the whole thing. I was just like, okay, okay, all right, okay. Yeah, okay, we've got this, okay, okay. I, I was mumbling the poem over and over and I changed bits and pieces of it and so I didn't know the poem as well as I did when I made the video. And I was thinking to myself, what if I forget it? What if it's not good enough? Da, 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 da. What if we get there and they tell us to turn back because it's not actually like, like it wasn't me. I had so a hundred thousands of thoughts like running through my head. Um, family messaging me on the day, my little brother making sure he was like, oh yeah, get Stormzy to sign something for me. I was like, no. No, you have me. I'll send you a picture of me and Stormzy together. Yeah, show your friends, because I'm cool. Um, and, and my aunt, my aunt was like, tell Stormzy that I know his aunt. And I'm like, no. Um, so there was like so, so much going on. But everybody sort of believed in me and stood with me like through it. Everybody that I told that is. Um, yeah, and, 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 and it, was, it was such an experience. I got there and all of the people from Penguins Live and Apples and Snakes, shout out to both of them and the Murky Books team because they are the reason why I got this in the first place because Apples and Snakes sources the poets of which I am one. Um, and I got to meet all of these amazing people. Um, Lisa and Toby, they helped like calm my nerves because Lord knows I was feeling all types of things. Um, and there was also Caleb Femi and Bridget Minamore brilliant brilliant poets they went up before me and i was listening to their poems and i was just thinking mine's not gonna be half as good <laughs> um I, I was still having the sort of inferiority thing because this was just such a massive thing and i felt like i was so out of my depth but there was just such beautiful beautiful energy um i met benjamin zephaniah he's such a cool guy he's oh my god he's he's so funny oh my fam like i met benjamin zephaniah i met uh, mallory blackman i met akala um, I met, um, 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 Jude who wrote, um, uh, a lot of like the murky books and like edited and stuff. Um, I met, 
um um oh there's so many names in my head i met stormzy like well, how am i leaving that out i, I met stormzy i met stormzy i met stormzy i met akala i met bridget minimore i met um benjamin zephaniah um i met mallory blackman i met caleb femi um and and there was just like this whole team I, I was backstage and it was just like it was overwhelming you know there were these amazing amazing people who had done amazing amazing things and then there was me and i felt like what have I really done besides like win this thing, <laughs> right? I, I felt like I didn't deserve to be there as much as everybody else because I felt as if everybody else had like worked so much more for this, um, to be there at this event. Um, and it was my turn to step on that stage. Um, and I had one thing that I hated. I had my poem in my hands because they made sure to print it out for me just in case I didn't know all of it. And so I had this poem in my hand and I started flowing and there were there were stops and I looked out and I read on and I wasn't reading completely off because obviously I knew a lot of the poem. I've, I'd been mumbling it since I woke up. Like the, the poem was a part of me. It was just the nerves. I was shaking so much my leg. I had to like move my leg about because my leg was like doing a nervous twitch. Oh God. Um, but it was it was so amazing. I stood up in front of there are about 2000 people and I, I spoke my word, you know, and it was, oh my God, I felt it was, a, oh, it was home. I, 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 I knew like, like, I don't know if anybody knows this feeling, but you know, like when you're just doing, you, you're just doing what you know you're meant to be doing. I was just there and, and I was just like, wow. And I ended my poem and I went, uh, simply a poet, blessings. Thank you. And everybody clapped and I was like, oh, they're clapping for me, you know. <laughs> but I was so gassed. <laughs> and and I, I finished the poem and I, like all the nerves sort of like settled down, but the shock didn't. And there was all, all of these important people, you know. And then I watched Akala and Stormzy speak. We did the rest of the event. I got a picture with Stormzy. I got a picture with Akala, um, Mallory Blackman and... Um, and Benjamin Zephaniah had left by the time I went back backstage because I went front, I went to the crowd because I wanted to see um, the speech and you couldn't like hear. I wanted to see Akala and Stormzy talk and you couldn't hear it properly at the back. Um, so yeah, and I was just like, wow, like this, this is a thing that's happened. After all, you know, I had to come back to Portsmouth and I was walking out of the building and these to and I saw people like turn and look and whisper and I was like oh maybe I'm just imagining it and these two ladies stopped me and they went your poem was amazing by the way and then the lady was like this was the one that, that had the thing on mental health wasn't it and I was like yeah and she was like oh you, it was so good da, 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 da. and then I walked out into like the foyer of um out through the foyer of of the Barbican Centre and these school kids were on a they, they were on a trip so they were all in like their uniform and everything and they saw me and some of them started clapping were like oh you did really well and I was so I was so flabbergasted I was so shocked I was so out of my own senses right that this was like something that was happening to me that I couldn't even look at them I was just like Whew. and then I looked at them and I was like they're clapping for me and, and then we walked out and I was just like bro this experience from <gasps> it, it it awoke something in me and i was just like you know what i have i have had a taste of what i believe is my place what i am meant to be doing in this world you know this is my purpose this this poetry this writing this delivering this this speaking this is what this is what god made me for you know and i was just so excited and i was like everything everything's changed everything has changed i was like okay i've been thinking for a long time um for those that do or don't know i've been thinking for a long time about um my content and how my content needs to change and the way that i'm producing and da 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 um and I think this was the right kick that I needed to really set things into motion. Because like I said before, I procrastinate about stuff a lot. Because if I'm unsure, it reflects in how I go about things. Um, and this this was really the kick up the backside that I needed to like get myself into gear and say, you know what? I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to do it properly. All right. And I, I, it's yeah, it's, it's going to be brilliant. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the moment if for any videographers and photographers, um, producers, etc. that are in Portsmouth, please um, just hit me up in the comment section and uh, I'll leave my email as well in the 
in the description so that you can get at me um but yeah no everything everything needs to get better and i was walking from uh Fangland station and there were these two guys that stopped me and they were like because i walked past them um and i was trying to use google maps so i wasn't exactly sure where i was so i just like walked past them and i was like no wait the bus stop is that way so i turned around and i saw them that they were talking and i heard one of them say is he the and um, so I was walking and this guy stops me and he's like, yo, you're the guy that performed, da, 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 you're Brennan Turner. And I was like, oh yeah. And we stood there and we had this whole conversation and one of them was saying to me how, you know, he teaches poetry and so he knows that what I said and the way that I said it, that it wasn't intentional and he was just so proud. And even though, because I said, I mentioned, I said, before tonight, I hadn't put, I, my biggest audience had been about 50 people. And at that center, it was 2000. I was just like, whoa. <laughs> it was just like, whoa. Um, and they were like, yeah, no, you did brilliantly. Your voice was so strong. Da, 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 da. And then one of them quoted my piece back at me and he said, and that last bit where you say, um, there's no weakness in accepting weakness, but I feel weak or the same. That really touched me, man. All the feels, it really, I was just like, my words touched like the way that i that spoken word that that poetry and motivation like the way that that that, that speaks to me i spoke to someone in that way i was like yo it's actually game over there is a fire in my belly all of you watch out there's going to be points in time i'm not going to lie to you where my content will slip because it's going to be more about the quality of what i'm putting out than the quantity of what i'm putting out just wait um yeah um a little yeah but whoa well, it was such an experience, man. It was such an experience. Um, so yeah, this is a story about how I basically performed at the Barbican Centre, met Stormzy, um, Mallory Blackman, Benjamin Zephaniah, Akala, um, Bridget Minamore, Caleb Femi. Like, these are people I met, you know? Like, I spoke to them, had conversations. Like, we shook hands and everything. I'm like, yo, bro, my price went up. You man can't chat to me no more. <laughs> oh man i'm no i'm so ecstatic um thank you thank you thank you thank you to everybody who has been supporting me to this point thank you to everybody who keeps supporting me um it means the absolute world to me i don't think you you understand um how much every every little repost every time you tell a friend that tells a friend that tells a friend to watch one of these videos every time you watch one of these videos and it speaks to you you know, every time you come onto this channel and you watch a video, and if you've made it this far, thank you so much because this is this is quite a long video, and I apologise. Um, um, but I, I, wow, this is this has been something. This has been something. Um, I have made myself proud. I've made people in my life proud. Um, the quality of the content is going to be going up. Quantity is going to go up as well. Um, I think I'm going to do a lot more of these. I'm going to. I haven't done. Um, a word spoken in a while and I will do one on the hate you give because I've seen it once but I want to see it again so when I really like bring it forward to you guys it, it's with all the knowledge I can and all the feels that I can um so yeah thank you thank you thank you for staying um and watching thank you so much to all the people who supported me to this point that have believed in me even when I, I lacked that belief in myself um thank you to apples and snakes and um, penguins live and murky books um to everybody there on that day like the like uh to have someone go up to me and be like oh um yeah so so what's your name and i was like oh brandon turner they're like oh my gosh you're brandon you're you you want congratulations and i was just like i was just like um hi thank you <laughs> um because i'm i'm quite an awkward person um at times i but yeah no this is this has been this has been something you know um so yeah, hopefully bigger and better things coming along. Uh, blessings and thank you to everybody uh, who is watching this, who is supporting me um, in every way and any way possible. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Blessings, have a blessed week and I uh, hope to see you here again. Please don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe, you know, all of that, all of that. And uh, thank you. Deuces.